Hi, today I'm going to give you a quick run through of the stock control system for online toy retailer Treasure Island Toys. Treasure Island Toys has been selling toys online since 2008 and have thousands of products, uh, a few of which you can see here. Let me just show you the stock system and how Treasure Island Toys is controlled. Okay, let me just put my username and password in. Okay, from this main menu you can see that we have orders, purchase orders, products, auto John Crane orders, auto DKL orders, um, news articles, newsletters, reports, references, and login. Okay, let me just show you orders to begin with. Here is a list of all of the outstanding orders due to be dispatched. You can see if you click on a plus that you can get a small preview of what that order contains. Um, you can search and filter orders by surname, by order ID, um, and there's more filtering tools here. Again, surname, you can filter by email address if you know it, the order status, the date, um, what product was purchased, there's lots and lots you can do. Um, you can see which items have been paid for but not yet dispatched. So these would be items that have a, a delivery date which is in the future. Um, this screen is currently showing orders that need to be dispatched today and you have a basket created today which also shows orders which have got right through to the checkout stage but were not actually completed. Um, if we go into an order you can see that it's got the order ID, the customer ID, whether the order has been dispatched or completed, the postage paid, email addresses, um, delivery details which Customers can choose whether they want the item delivered before 12 p.m., before 10 p.m., 10 a.m. Sorry, um, and specific dates. Um, we've got a FedEx dispatch. So once the order's being sent, you get the dispatch code from FedEx, and then sent. Click notify, and it automatically sends an email to the customer to say their delivery is on their way with the tracking number. Um, we have notes here, so you can add notes to each order and then their delivery details and the cardholder address which are sometimes different. Um, you can update the address case, print delivery notes um, and then send orders directly to dropshippers. Okay, if we come out of here we've then got purchase orders. So purchase orders is a way of keeping track of what is actually in stock. So if we click on any of these, you can see that this is one of the orders that we received from John Crane. Um, once the order has been received by the warehouse, they would then click here, add to delivery. There's usually a button there if the uh, item hasn't been checked in. Once it's been checked in, these items are then automatically put into stock. Again, you have all the filtering and any other things that you might require for this section. Products is the list of every product on the website. So as you can see, there are lots and lots. That's just A and B. You can then search for a product here, again filter for them, and within each product you have all of the product attributes. You can add videos, you can add keywords, you can copy keywords from other related products. Um, there's a huge amount of things you can do. You can create packages, so it, you can set up discounts so that if someone buys um, four different construction vehicles that are part of the same package that it would set up a discount for them. Um, there's, there's lots of things. Okay, let's come out of this. Auto John Crane allows us to 
automatically reorder products that are out of stock, so which is very useful and very uh, saves a lot of time. Uh, again, the same as Auto DKL that generates an auto order for DKL products that we're actually out of stock of. Um, the news section allows us to create news articles and then it posts them live to the website which you can see here. We go to latest news in the corner. These are all the latest news articles and they're automatically formatted to have a picture. They have their Facebook plugins and social networking links at the top. Newsletter. You can simply put in what you want your newsletter to say and associate it with various newsletter uh, database lists. So we currently have two separate database lists for people receiving newsletters and they're completely different subjects. So we can, we can enter the content that we want for the newsletter and then select which recipient we want to get receive it. Um, we then have reporting and much more. So you can see it's a, it's a pretty in-depth system. Um, and that's all I'm going to show you on that today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.